Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. It's me Talha. In this quick video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use displacement maps feature in Revit and Enscape 2.9. But before I get started, I would like to suggest to you to check out my Enscape for Revit tutorials. You can follow the link in the description. Now let's get started. So first, we need to download some textures. So let's open up the browser and as you can see, I have already opened this website. 3d textures.me if you want to know more about free 3d textures websites you can check out my recent post on cadnates.com anyway as you can see here i have already searched for pebbles on this website and we got these results now i want to use this one so let's click and just scroll down a bit and click on download all maps and here I want to download all these uh, textures as a zip file so let's click here on this drop down and then click download and as you can see the texture is now downloaded so let's open this up and I will just close the browser and extract this folder to the desktop let's close this and open this folder and as you can see here we got five texture images but we need only two of these the the main material and the displacement map sometimes it's mentioned height so you only need to look for the height material or the displacement now let's open up Revit and use these textures as you can see here I have already opened this project and I want to apply the downloaded materials uh, to this uh, building pad here so let's select that edit type edit and we want to create a new material here let's rename it pebbles and go to appearance and here you need to load the texture image here we have it so let's select that one click open and I will just quickly change the size of this uh, texture to 2 feet now we need to load the displacement map in this bump section so just click on this checkbox and it will open up this dialog again and here just select the displacement or the height material and make sure you give the same size as the main material so we give 2 feet for that so I put two feet here as well then click done click OK and let's start the Enscape and see so the Enscape is now started let's quickly go to this backyard here and as you can see this displacement map is not working still it's just a 2d material so to make it work you need to increase the bump amount so let's go back to Revit then go to manage and open up the material browser and as you can see this pebbles material is already selected which we have created earlier so let's go to appearance and just increase the bump amount here so you just need to make it above 500 and anything above 500 will turn this material into a 3d material so just make sure you have the bump amount set to more than 500 now let's click ok and go back to Enscape and see the magic there you go we got these amazing 3d stones here we did not have to model all these 3d stones we only got these we got this result only by using the displacement map feature in Enscape 2.9. So that's all I wanted to share with you in this quick video. To know more about the Enscape 2.9 features, you can follow the link in the description. And that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and yeah, see you guys in the next video.